Old photos of boys in bed, surrounded by what looks like nurses on a beach in Sussex, a hospital marked on the map. What was this place and what is left today? Probably the most well-known abandoned village in Sussex is Tide Mills, on the coast between Newhaven and Seaford. As the name suggests, the village was built around a large mill operated by the incoming and outgoing tide. But there were other developments nearby too. A seaplane base once stood between Newhaven and Tide Mills, railway sidings ran all the way from the harbour to where the yacht club now stands on the western edge of Seaford Seafront and there was this complex of buildings, marked as a hospital on the beach next to the mill pond at Tide Mills. This was the Chaley Heritage Marine Hospital and was part of Chaley Heritage School, which still exists today, providing care for children with a wide range of physical and cognitive conditions. The hospital was established in 1924 on the beach to provide care for boys who were recovering from operations. A hangover from Victorian times, it was believed that the sea air held special properties that would help with the healing of the sick. Don't forget that the air quality in the towns and cities was pretty much as bad as it was ever going to get at this time, so there is probably an element of truth in this. Although, it's more likely it was a case that the city air would slow your healing rather than the sea air having some kind of magical properties. The hospital was a gift of the Warren family to the heritage and was open for around 15 years. The hospital was a long, single-storey building which had nurses' accommodation opposite on the inland side of the beach. This is an exposed location and the sea would sometimes batter the buildings. I can't imagine it would be very pleasant to stay here in the middle of a winter storm, but I've not found any evidence that the hospital was used less in the inclement months just that it had shutters on the windows to help keep the sea out and that the residents and staff remember the bad storms and the occasional washing up of cargo ships onto the beach which one resident described as very exciting events for us boys. Contemporary photographs and movies from the hospital's heyday show that the kids were very often outside in the sea and being given many tasks to do. They also made things in workshops built camps on the beach and had an annual visit from the Bishop of London, whom they presented with a box of fish which was said to have been caught by the boys, although a former teacher described this as a polite fiction. These visits made the press though, such was the high profile of the hospital. The hospital closed at the start of the Second World War, when beaches were cleared because of the risk of invasion. The buildings at nearby Tide Mills, which had been condemned, were also evacuated and the area used for target practice, which ultimately spelt the end for the hospital on the edge of the sea. Today the foundations of the ruined buildings remain, as well as some low flint walls that marked various internal boundaries, and the Lily Warren nurses accommodation can be found next to the mill pond on the other side of the path along the disused sidings. A great deal of information can be found about this heritage by the sea on both the Chaley Heritage Foundation's website and also the Tide Mills project, both of whom are linked to in the description below. If you are visiting the area, there is a car park at Tide Mills on the A259 between Newhaven and Seaford, although this can get quite busy. There is also a railway foot crossing that you need to navigate with frequent fast trains, so be careful as there have been a number of high profile safety incidents at this crossing. I park for free at the Buckle Car Park in Seaford and the hospital, abandoned village and seaplane base are about 15 minutes walk along the beach. Alternatively, you can park at the end of Beach Road in New Haven, next to New Haven's number one at Sewage Works and access the beach via the railway footbridge. Due to the nature of the terrain and the shingle, I wouldn't recommend access by wheelchair or mobility scooter unless it is suitable for off-road use. The route from Tide Mills Car Park is the most suitable, but you will need to navigate the kissing gates on the railway crossing. Thanks very much for watching this visit to the Hospital by the Sea, and I hope to meet you again soon for another Sussex Map Mystery.